Welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will once again be talking about the brand Lug. More specifically, the last two items that I was waiting to receive in the mail. One came from Lug Live and one came from the QVC. The first one I would like to talk about is the Quick Step. I purchased this off the Lug Live. It was for a fantastic price. Of course, it's butterfly gray. I do like this. It is very cute for just a grab and go. It holds um, a bunch. As you can see, I do have mine filled. What I have taken to doing is using this as a wallet in the other item that I received in the mail from the QVC, which is the Alpine in butterfly gray, which I'll go over shortly. Really quick though, because I have done another video about this. Um, I have another Alpine in line. Let's get to the quick step. This is cute. I did not think that I would like the way that it hung vertically as a crossbody. I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like on me. It actually is super duper cute. The D-rings are quite small that ha hold the fully adjustable, fully removable strap. This is about your one inch size, which is fine because this is a relatively light carry. What I have done, since I don't really want to affix anything onto these D-rings, I have put my heart pouch right on the strap itself. And I also have put my hand sanitizer holder, my little s'mores guy is back, also on the other side on the strap itself. This also features a fully removable wristlet strap. Very easy on and off. Turns out that this strap is actually the same size wristlet strap that you get with your Splits XLs, just for FYI. Right off the bat, the one thing I noticed that kind of gives me issue it is not a deal breaker by any means, but I have found it a little bit awkward are the D-rings. They kind of flop over to your zipper. You have to just make sure you get them out of the way. Not something that really merits mentioning, but I do want to mention it because I like to try to be as thorough as possible in my videos. If you look at the back, I, I have also affixed a little clip to hold this zipper closed. The one thing I have noticed about pretty much every lug wallet slash thing like this that I own is that the back zipper can sometimes come undone. So I have devised a way to keep that shut. I literally just clip it right onto the zipper itself. Um, I don't think it detracts from anything. And then you have this nice zippered compartment. The cool thing about this is you have this clear view area, which you can put, you know, identification. Some people put their vaccination cards, I believe in here. I will eventually get probably a family picture and put it in here just because. On the other side, out of that little cloth divider, which hopefully you can see it's right here, uh, is a compartment. I just have quarters in there. So when you open it, you have 14 card slots. That is not including the two clear identification window areas, which I'll show you in a second. Here's one of those clear views, but then you have all your slips here. I love that it does have the contrasting trim, so you know exactly where those card slots are. So then you have them on the middle. I do appreciate that they put the name of the bag here, but I think they missed an op another opportunity for another uh, card slot, but that's just me. And then you have also some on the other side. This is actually another zippered compartment. It is RFID protected. You do get a pen slot and you also have one slip pocket there. On the other side, you have another nice slip pocket, which can fit two spare check registers. That is what I keep in there. I don't have anything in this clear view, but of course I have um, these cards filled. The other feature that this wallet gives you, which is actually quite nice, is there is a large pocket on the other side. So there's two zippers and there's a large pocket. This pocket is very, very convenient. It's almost like a catch-all pocket, but the best part is you can literally just stick your phone in here. My personal cell phone, which I'm recording on, has a recessed divot where my pop socket lays flat so it's flush against the phone. Obviously fits in here with no problem, but even this phone, which is the same size, but with the pop socket sticking out a little bit more, fits in here, no problem. And then I just have cash, receipts, coupons, and a checkbook. If you don't want to carry those types of things, I'm sure you could fit in a chapstick. 
maybe some keys, anything really. Do you actually recommend it? And I love that it's butterfly gray. So very, very happy with that. Now on to the Alpine. I will just go over this very, very quickly. Fully removable, fully adjustable, one and a half inch strap, which is amazing. A nice back slip pocket with a magnetic closure where I just keep a reusable tote. Two cargo pockets, one on each side with a magnetic closure. You could fit protein shakes, a small water bottle. I just happen to have a protein bar, gloss, and my keys in there. It does not have a wipeable surface, nor does it have feet. That's not a deal breaker. I wish it did. Onto the front, you have this beautiful oversized zipper pull. It actually has its own hook. So if you want to use any other kind of purse charm or hang anything else off there, you have that opportunity to do so. And then you have a really nice zippered pocket. It is hooded so you can stick things in here that stand up slightly taller, like my little travel size Lysol fits standing vertically, no problem. I just have, you know, my few items in here, breath spray, flashlight, chapstick, and my Lysol. So you can fit quite a bit in here. It's very nice too because it has its own gusset so it doesn't share real estate with the main part of the bag, but it does share real estate with your phone pocket. So just to be a little cautious as to how you pack it, it as the beautiful quilting like the other Alpines on the front. For this particular bag, I do like that the quilting is kind of just on this pocket as opposed to the entire bag. And then of course you have the very, very handy top handle. It's so convenient just to grab it and go. When you open the bag, I understand why Amy had to affix the D-rings where she did. Now, I will say I do still have concerns with how the D-rings are affixed to the bag. Not because of the quality of the bag. They're very well secured, um, very strong, seemingly strong. I'm just afraid with wear and tear. But unfortunately, that's not something I can speak on until I've used this bag quite often. I will say that I've carried it for a couple days now, and I haven't noticed any problems as far as seeing any fraying or anything of that nature. But again, this is kind of a time will tell sort of thing. So before I show you, let me just stick the quick step back in there so you can see. When you open it, you can actually fold it over so that you literally have everything. You can see it right at a glance. I will, as always, go through what's in the main portion of the bag first and then go over the um, internal organizational features. I have my Vera Bradley personal journal. I have a notepad. I have the smaller of the seesaw pouches and then the quick step, which as you can see, fits in no problem beautifully. I also have the mini choo-choo where I just have my phone accoutrements. The inside is very nice because not only do you have a clear view pocket, which I don't really have anything in there at the moment. That is also another pocket though that you need to be careful because it does share real estate with your phone pocket. So I suggest slim profile items only. But it also has a privacy pocket. I have a comb and nail file in there. And then below that privacy pocket, it has a cargo pocket, which I now use to carry a smaller planner. I'm trying to change things up a little bit. Plus I thought this was super duper cute. So that is a have in there. So those are the organizational features on the front and the back of the bag. Then the things that I love, one of my favorite features of these bags, they have on the side of the bag, your two pen slots, very convenient placement. They don't get in the way. Now on the other side, it, instead of a key bungee, it has a D ring to which you can affix things. So if you want to put keys on there, you just need to make sure they have a clip. So I have my husband's spare keys and I also have clipped my AirPods case right in there so I always know where it is. And again, you have so much space in this bag. It's amazing. So that is everything. Those are my last two pieces I was waiting on. I'm very, very pleased overall. Butterfly Gray, if you know me for four seconds, you will also know that that is my favorite lug pattern of all time. And I'm just really happy. So thank you again, as always, for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And I hope you all have a good one. Bye.